Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jones, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jones, you're the man on sticks. I am. And we're playing uh, some more of that Madden. Yeah, we're playing the Chiefs. Sports. I messed up. I, picked, I didn't pick the right playbook, so it'll be interesting. It's a playbook I don't know, so. Playing Madden 21, Jones yeah, is dude. playing the Chiefs. They How are, they do have an arrowhead as their symbol, yeah. too. I didn't believe it. Yeah, dude, it literally is an arrowhead with a KC in it. Uh, yeah, I told you that. I, <laughs> yes, you told me. I, did, I just literally me. just sat here you and said you were right. And you right <laughs> oh, the Chargers, dude. They're like lightning. Dude, I'm going to do bad because I don't know this playbook. But anyways. Yeah, it's, dude, it'll be fine, dude. You got it. Would you drive a three-wheeled car? What? Were you in the bathroom taking a urination and thinking about this? No, <laughs> like it just pops in my head, to be honest. Like a Mr. Bean mobile? Like, there's a, an electric car company no. who is putting out a car that has three wheels. Jonas, those, those have existed for millennia. Cars with three wheels? Yes! Have you never seen Mr. Bean? No. No, no I have. I have seen They it. have those types of cars in the UK already. They're che they're like cheap and inexpensive. There's actually one that's out here. They look ugly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, do. those ones are fancy, dude. I've seen people in the, in the Crazy Town compound. In one of those fancy three-wheel cars? Yeah, there, there was two guys that had them for a while, yeah. Okay. Was, These are like... Steve Urkel drove one? Oh, I think they're called Spiders. No, not those. Not those kind of cars. I'm talking about like a car, the, the actual... There was another three-wheel car that was out here. I'll see if I can find it. Though, well, this uh, this car I'm talking about, it's like a... um, It's like... Uh, it's like one of those... What are those? Smart cars, essentially. But it has three wheels, so because yeah. it's, it's like a small car, it's like a. I think it's a. Might not be a one person. Well, I don't know, dude. But they, uh, yeah, they're out there, dude. Would you drive one? <laughs> no, I don't. I, and it's I don't know. Like yeah, I guess no. I don't yes. like small cars because I'm not a small man. I mean, I like I. I felt the same way until I uh, rode one of those uh, Mini Coopers. Those were actually. It was actually pretty nice. It was roomy enough. Oh really? Like you could uh, you could have like fit in there all nice and snugly, or was it like? Uh... <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like I had a ton of room, but it yeah, was it wasn't right. like you're riding in a. a freaking escalade but uh, honestly when i look at it and it's, it's probably just the fact that we've been exposed to four-wheeled automobiles for so long but it doesn't look safe to me right i don't feel safe in any it doesn't look safe i'm like how is it balancing on that one tire like how is that working do i have a kickstand do i need to throw a, my kickstand out when i park this on Dude, i don't want to live with do you that. do you have to put my do i have to put my foot out the door and like keep it balanced Dude, you have to fred flintstone it it's and it looks like you basically just put a car frame on a motorbike. I'm like, yeah. Oh, that would be sad, dude. Yeah, so I don't I don't know if I would ride in a uh, in a three wheeled automobile. Yeah, dude. I don't. What about a eight wheeled truck, Jonas? <laughs> yeah. A, a, like a dually? Yeah, they have them, dude. You seen eight yeah, wheelers? I don't know if I want to drive anything. I feel like if you give me more wheels, I'm more apt to want to drive it. You can always add wheels, but you start taking wheels away. What if it was like four wheels, but they were all doubled? So you had two, uh, yeah. four. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. Be, what are you driving on? <laughs> <laughs> like, does the regular road need that, dude? I don't know what those people are doing, but you've seen like the trucks. They'll have like the two in the front, and then they'll have like the wide body back, and then they'll have like oh, the four. Oh yeah, wheel. dude, they got four wheels that's, in the back. It's yeah, like a six, six wheeler. Six wheelers, dude. I don't know what they're trying to. Um, I think if you're carrying a heavy load, you need the extra tire space. So those are like heavy duty. That trucks yeah. do work. You should watch this. What am I watching? You not win. Are you? Did you just do oh, some trickery, dickery, doc? Did, did you just do some trickery, doc? It's not real football. Don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not. I don't know the playbook, so I'm all wheels are off. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can always add more wheels. Like sixteen wheeler sounds amazing. I want a sixteen wheeled moped. Wait. Have you ever ridden a moped? Dress? I have not, dude. You no, know, it is the most. Unsafe feeling. I would say so, dude. Yes. I don't want to ride a, motor ride a motorcycle. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I haven't ridden a bike in years. Like a bicycle? Yeah, like a bicycle. 
but I'm sure I could still ride a bicycle. Yeah, I thought about getting one during a me pandemic. Too. Me too, honestly. Like, just like, I ain't got nothing to do. Let's just go for a bike ride. Yeah, me too, me and honestly. TNT, we can get a tandem, a two-person bike. <laughs> yeah, we can go to the end of the street and back, and then I'm coming in and taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but bikes are sold out everywhere, dude, because they're pandemic. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that's, that's the new thing people are picking up. Yeah, I honestly have thought about, like, man, maybe I should get a bike. It would be fun. I would like to get, like, just, like, a dirt bike, though. It just, like, I don't know. Like, I, obviously, I'm having flashes to when I was, like, 12 years old riding did my dirt bike. Did you see what just happened? I did. He bounced off his head. You just <laughs> got another touchdown. Yeah, uh, yeah, dude, I haven't had a bicycle since I got my driver's license. Yeah. So I would like to get, like, a dirt bike and just, like, take it off some sick jumps or something. That'd be sweet. <laughs> You're going to, like, turn into a... <laughs> I'd die. <laughs> you would absolutely die. Um, <laughs> you would turn into uh, Jeremy McGrath all of a sudden in here doing <laughs> Superman on a... Do it. You're out. You're out in the backyard doing a motocross high jump on a dirt bike. I'm like, oh, look, that's what he's into now. It's hot in the streets, dude. He's out there doing 360 flippy dippy Superman. Uh, yeah, dude. heck yeah, why not, dude? Tony Hawk's over, just like giving you pointers on skateboard tips. I'm just doing like flat surface manuals and stuff. Yeah, dude, that'd be sweet. <laughs> no, I'd watch you. But uh, yeah, so like when you're on a moped though, could you imagine just like just like there's nothing around you it's just like basically running at 50 miles dude, I don't, yeah dude i don't know how i feel about like yo it's scary i don't know about it's that frightening like i just i don't i don't like that idea the worst thing is that i knew a guy who rode him who actually like bought a moped he would ride it all the time to work and stuff but work was like five minutes away right 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 and he See, was that's practical yeah and that's, i feel like that's practical but there was a few times where he rode it from basically like Pennsylvania into Ashtabula. Yeah. And he would take it on the freeway. It's, it doesn't oh. even go that fast. Yeah, yeah, dude. He would be going. He said, I'm going like the minimum. He's going like 40 or whatever. Just putting along on the freeway. But why not take like the, the highway? I-90. Yeah, why not take 20 the whole way? Yeah, I think he did end up taking 20 eventually, but he was just, he said the first time he did it, he was just on 90. And then he said he took 20 home, and it was like, yeah, 20 was better, but yeah. Yeah. I 90 on a moped. Yeah, is, you can't even stop ooh. to readjust ever. At least when you're driving on, a, like, the, the you get a stoplight, you can, like, dude, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it, man. I was like, no. I would, I would, the anxiety would be so high to have like a, a moped on or even a motorcycle for me. Yeah, I don't want to ride. Uh, no. Motorcycles seem way too dangerous, honestly. Cause they, they're just like more powerful mopeds. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, like, I would ride maybe one of those three wheel motorcycles. I like those. Like the big boys? Yeah, like the big, big hogs, dude. Yeah, like, I would I like. I ride one of those just because I feel, I'd feel more safe. Because it would just be more of like a, like, just go, let's go chill and just vroom, vroom around, dude. Like, yeah, but yeah, I don't I like know, those. dude. I, those, I, those I are the ones that riding like motorcycles. There's nothing like it. Have you you have ridden a motorcycle? I have ridden as a passenger, as a kid, like a teenager and stuff, like on the back for a little, like nothing. I've never went on a real ride, like where like I went for like any ex more like a quick ride around the neighborhood and back, yeah, like yeah. one of those sort of things. But I've never ridden like on one for any extended period of time. No, the most I ever did with that moped was take it like around the corner, and then I was like, "Okay, we're I'm scared gonna... for my life now." Yeah, because like your first intention is you're thinking, "Oh, it's just a bicycle. I'll just put my feet down." No, <laughs> you will die. Yeah, you dude. will die. I would, I would feel scared when I rode it. And I've seen like guys. Uh, I remember one time we were driving over around Dead Man's Curve. Funny enough, and uh, like I think we were going downtown Cleveland. And this like group of just like bikers. It was like nighttime, and this group of bikers came up, and they just started doing stunts on the freeway. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a group from Akron that does that. They just started they're, doing the Star going, Boys. Is that? Yeah, I think it was the Star yeah. Boys. So they just like started doing stunts on their bikes. Like this dude is like doing like the wheelie, going like 60, 65, doing a wheelie. Yep. He's like jumping up on a seat, dude. The bike is going. He's have, like surfing on it. I have seen them. We were driving home from a gentleman's club in Akron, um, to Cuyahoga Falls, and we were. It was like two o'clock in the morning. All of a sudden, this group of like five dudes drove by. Then one standing on his seat, driving down the freeway. Yo. One, they're like sitting sideways or popping wheelies, and they just boom, take off and drive up faster. It's like none of them had helmets. Nope. Insane. In. 
insane. Yeah, you want to talk about adrenaline, dude? Why? But for what? Because the they're the Star point? Boys, bro. Oh, they showed off, man. Leave me a card or something. <laughs> they, they, they put a bumper sticker on here. Yeah, link. Me. <laughs> oh, we got a fight. Yeah, we'll give you a little. A we'll, magnet is okay. That would be kind of slick, actually. They can just toss them as they drive by. Like, yeah, yeah, and then like just link it to your Patreon. Or oh, they didn't have Patreon back then. Nope, they but if they did. had like Cash App or something, I would have tipped yeah. them, mother they, they didn't have that back then either. Dude. I know, but I definitely would have tipped them. Yeah, dude, dude. I don't, dude. They let I. You guys do that. That's like, I don't know. Man. Yeah, it's nuts. That's nuts behavior right there. I don't know. Because this is like anything can well, it's happen, like, It's man. dangerous for like the other people on the effing road, too, dude. It ain't yeah. just dangerous for them. Like if they would have like wrecked and wiped out and their bike slid and like not only do you see a man die in front of your eyes, you also like their bike comes at your car. Like, dude, that's, that's not yeah. that that's, cool, dude. That's, that's just unnecessary behavior. That's, uh, that's not consenting to, uh, to me. <laughs> I don't consent to that. Well, well, Jonah Pop and Dad and Daddy might say, "Don't be dangerous, kids." Don't do dangerous things, brah. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> We're dads, dude. <laughs> like, shut up, old man! I'm gonna wreck my butt. <laughs> I'm gonna rev my engine. Yeah, I don't Go know, back man. Talking about woohoo dillies and cha chas. <laughs> All right, we'll talk about some woohoo dillies. What is a woohoo dilly? Uh, it's like similar to a cha-cha. Uh, cha-cha is a dance, so I know what that is. Yes. So a woohoo dilly is a dance. Yeah, woohoo dilly. Dude. Or a series of mo of movements. Yeah. What what would this series of movements in include if it was a woohoo dilly? I imagine it would. Um, oh, I tried it again and they sniffed it out. Uh, like a woohoo dilly. I feel like you would. There would be some jumping involved, because like. And then there would be uh, some dillying, which is like. It, 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 can I just make a, 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 an observational social commentary real quick? Yeah. The fact that I found out that you are like, even like a drop of Minnesotan blood, Jonas. We're going by one drop. Of I loss. have none of Minnesota blood. You have some Minnesotan blood. In How you. do I have Minnesota blood? In because <laughs> you lived in Minnesota. It it makes so much more sense to be there. Can I, I, if I can just associate when I live there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like it, it, all right. I get it. I get it. it no, dude, it really does. I'm, I'm I get it. That it helps. I don't understand, but sure. Because you're saying you say Minnesota things. Like when I hear woohoo, Dilly, I'm thinking that's some Minnesota is, ish right there. I would, dude, I have very little. I know Minnesota stuff's like uh, witcha ditcha. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and umta, <laughs> umta and stuff what like that. What the heck that. is um, what are, are you speaking Mayan? Is that <laughs> I don't know. My mom said they do something. I, I, I go, hey, you got the snowplow day. Yeah, yeah, no, don't dude, you know? Made me feel bad for the way I spoke. And don't you know? And your best. Yeah, but your mom doesn't really talk like that. Didn't bring your truck, which did you? Did you? Oh, oh. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> with you, did you? <laughs> with you, did with you? Did you? <laughs> did you bring an extra controller? With you, did you? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I kind of, it's cute, dude. That's the thing about being Minnesotan because it, it like they're just like cute, and just like very, very uh, just it's a lovable culture. <laughs> it really is. Dude, I love it. It's adorable. Yeah, it is. With you, did you? Mm. Little scamp. <laughs> playing with the English language. <laughs> they do, they what do. was the thing in Cleveland that people said that they didn't say anywhere else or in, in our area? I don't think we had much. Pop, dude. Pop, yes. Yeah. Pop is our thing. Well, and that's a very, like, Midwest thing. Because, like, everywhere is soda pop. What Not kind of Coke. Coke you want? Sprite. Yeah, nah, dude. Yeah, Coke, dude. I call it pop, dude. I do. I love it, too. I own the ish. I don't call it pop. I own when I it. first moved to Texas, and I, they would be like, me like, what the f about? <laughs> I own it, dude. I don't even drink pop, but I've owned it pop. You shopping, put a two liter in your car, and when you check out, be like, I don't need this pop. Just the, just the mess of the cashier. <laughs> and make that poor man have to put it back on the shelf. Right, dude. You pay, you get them something to do for their pay. Yeah, some and, guy. And confuse them. <laughs> Some guy who always comes in here with pop that he doesn't need. I don't know why he calls it that. F is a pop, dude. Why is it pop? 
Do you want to yeah. pop? Is there anything else you used to say up there? I'm thinking, dude. I don't. I don't honestly. I feel like dude is probably pretty strong up there, but I don't. I, I don't feel like that. I uh, I've more. seen online now that people are getting offended by calling everyone dude because dude is a masculine. All right, is. listen, 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 listen. Well, before we get to that, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Listen. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, this dude does Twitch stuff. Listen, TNT Dynamite. I do Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T at twitch.tv. Come on out. Heck yeah for Jonas. TNT. We will catch you on the next one. We uh, are out. Oh. Uh,